I'm here with Ken Manso, who is seeking re-election to the Board of Directors. Ken, thanks for joining me this morning. Morning, everybody. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, you bet. Okay, yeah. let's start with an easy one. Okay. Give us your elevator pitch. Why are you running and seeking re-election? You know, I really enjoy <laughs> I was thinking about this. I was talking to Romeo Manzanilla when, when I first started serving. I said, you never told me it was going to be this much fun. Oh, yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time, and, and, and also it was quite challenging, and that was really interesting to go through that part with us. So you learn a lot when you're challenged and you work with a group. It was really quite unique. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Awesome. And I want to be more part of that more. How will you work to reinforce the value of both the association and the MLS system as a board member? You know, the value of our MLS and our and our association is amazing because it's it's um, the education we put into our agents. It's also the outreach. Like I'm excited about more outreach. I can see people. We can talk to folks. Yeah. We can actually be in the field, and that's the best part. Yeah, we're I getting think. back out there. We're getting back out there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What part of the ABOR strategic plan are you most excited about lifting up into next year? Listen, that engaging with intention mm -hmm. and focus is key. I and mean, the advocacy, like our consumer advocacy, the, the, um, the involvement with codes and property taxes and homeowners, and it's at a peak too. So those are two pretty, I feel like those are two good areas that I can put effort to yeah. that I'm connected to as well. I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. What do you mm -hmm. think that you bring uniquely to the table, Ken, in terms of your leadership mm -hmm. as a director? You know, uniquely, um, I've been involved with all sorts of volunteer leadership and paid for leadership. Yeah. And I feel like I'm just getting my rhythm yeah. in it. This is 20 or so years in it, and you realize you never stop learning. So I love the challenge. Mm -hmm. I love the excitement, especially with kind of the younger members, too. Surprisingly, I have a good connection with them. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about putting more of those skills to it. Also, I transitioned out of a role that I was in at my company, and now I actually am in, in production again full-time. So I've got a lot more time to uh, get involved. Yeah, so, yeah, that's awesome. Excited about it. What do you think is the biggest challenge facing our industry? What what keeps you up at night a little bit? Mm, you know, nothing really keeps me up, although I think the challenge is just stay the course, be consistent, do what you know it's right, like those little steps matter. Yeah. Like try not to let the chaos get you, to, if you pay attention to the, like someone was saying, well, it's going to be a recession. How about we choose not to participate in that? Mm and just do the things that we know we can do. So it's that kind of, that's my approach. Hey, take it each day, do your best, let the rest of it take it. If you're doing your best, it usually kind of all comes out. Yeah. yeah well, Ken, thank you for your service today. We're so appreciative you, of Emily. all of our board directors and congrats on your run for thank seeking re-election. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Vote for me. <laughs> Want to be back on the board. Thank you. You bet.